In this video, I'm going to point out the mistakes and oddities in the messiest song the Beatles ever officially released, and present a few theories as to what might have happened. The song in question is called I'm Looking Through You, and it was released in 1965 on the Beatles' sixth studio album, Rubber Soul. I'm looking through you, where did you go? At this point in their career, the Beatles were becoming more and more of a studio band. That meant they would spend weeks recording and re-recording songs in Abbey Road Studios, using multi-track tape machines to add additional vocal and instrument layers to their songs. Usually it worked out pretty well, and it allowed them to experiment with new sounds and styles. But for some reason, one track on Rubber Soul falls a bit short of their usual standard. The tenth track, I'm Looking Through You, was written by Paul McCartney following a rough patch in his relationship to Jane Asher. And there really aren't any big issues in the first minute or so. But then it kind of goes off the rails. At around the one minute mark, pay close attention to the tapping in the right channel. Why tell me why did you not treat me right? Love has a nasty habit of Whoever's tapping completely loses the beat and then just abruptly stops. Listen again, this time I've isolated the right channel so you can hear it more clearly. Why tell me why did you not treat me right? Love has a nasty habit of disappearing. If you're paying really close attention, there's a subtle edit in Paul's lead vocal between the words love has and a nasty habit. Love has a nasty habit. These sorts of mid-phrase edits are surprisingly common in Beatles songs. What happened was that the engineer basically stitched two takes of a track together, probably because it was easier to re-record one section of the song than redo the entire track from scratch. Then there's the electric guitar, which comes and goes in the right channel throughout the song, playing a few repeated licks with a bunch of random stuff in between. Listen to this section from 105 to around 112. I've isolated the right channel so you can hear it more clearly. Love has a nasty habit of disappearing overnight. You're thinking of me the same old way you wear a body. It's like whoever's playing, whether it's George or Paul, is, is not really convinced of the notes that he's playing. They're either out of tune or the wrong notes or both. It happens again noticeably during the chorus at 140. Why tell me why did you not treat me right? Then at 152, there's two totally random out of tune notes. Did you go? I thought I knew it's as if they intended to edit some of these guitar parts later on, but totally forgot or just didn't have time. There's other little weird stuff in the song, too. At 120, it sounds like someone drops the tambourine. Now, this could be an intentional hit, but there's no other tambourine part in this section, so its inclusion seems a bit odd. During those little blues sections at the end of each verse, the double organ hits are always in the far right channel. except at 134 when one clearly ends up in the center. I don't have the original vinyl, so it's possible this error was introduced later on, like when the Beatles catalog was remixed for the digital era. And that's not all. There's two random clicks at 141. I'm not even sure what those are. And then at around 157, whoever's playing the snare drum, presumably Ringo, completely misses the snare. Here's the odd part. According to the studio logs, the Beatles spent almost 20 hours of studio time working on this song, more than they had spent on any song up to that point in time. They recorded three very different versions over the course of three weeks, and the one that was used was actually the last version, recorded just days before the album was finally mixed. It almost sounds like a demo of this song. So what happened? It's possible that Paul wasn't happy with the first two versions, so the band put together this last-minute, simpler revamp to get the album finished in time for the holidays. But there's another interesting theory that suggests, contrary to the liner notes, that Paul McCartney is actually playing most of the instruments on this track, including percussion, obviously recorded over multiple takes. I'm not sure I'd buy it, but it would explain some of the roughness around the edges. And Paul did step in to play drums on later albums, so it's not totally impossible. Mistakes and mystery aside, I still love the song, and now you'll never hear it the same way again. So what do you think happened? Let me know in the comments, and thanks for watching.